Hi, my name is Gong Zhengxi, nine years old, primary three. I'm also from Taiwan, primary six. So here our story continuing was our English language. Still, our first part from similes at our tastes. Is it? No, it's this. It's this. It's our touch. Yep. Okay, so it is for our touch of. Our sense of touch, right? Yeah. So we can give another example of the kind of smooth, okay? Yup, it's about the texture. Smooth. So about smooth, what do you think can be smooth? Of course. Butter. Butter is okay. smooth. Smooth as butter. I can say this stuff is smooth as butter. Everything so smooth as butter. Like when you just try to figure across, well, it goes across very fast. It is not like those things that are very rough. Yeah, if I notice that for the rough one, instead of moving very fast like that, it will become down. like that. Okay, so this part is for smooth as butter. So I'm going to give an example of a sentence for smooth as butter. Now, when you see those statues, they can also be called sculptures. Yep. So, if this sculpture it is like very smooth, it's actually very hard to make. It will take yep. a lot of time, right? Just carefully sliding it across so that it's very round. And if you just make one wrong move, you might have to take a whole new piece, start all over again. Or you have to find somehow to fix the error. Although it's impossible to make something very completely smooth. Okay, so for a very smooth sculpture but, that it looks, so a lot of people think that it is amazing. But there's one thing is that you can make something look smooth, but you can't make the thing really smooth. Okay, so how about you give one example? Soft. Soft as... So what do you want? Can be soft as mush. Mush. What's, What's mush? mush? Okay, let's think about this. Sometimes when we go to fast food restaurants, they ask, mush food? Sometimes, right? Yeah. So, like for those little children or just little babies or you call them infants. Yeah, they were usually, you will usually feed them mush as their teeth haven't fully grown up. Yes. And so even they, if they have the teeth, it's all baby teeth. Okay. Baby or teeth. called milk teeth, right? Yep. So you want to protect it as much as possible. So mush will just crush up all the food. Then yep. just feed it to them. Mush is something like you know those those apples, right? It just that you like crush, crush, crush. For example, you know the potato alright. Okay. The potato mush. Okay. So that means this still means soft. Right? But even if you need to bite, you also only cut it a little And that's it. Sometimes you just cut it a little bit, right? Yep, so it won't really be that hard. Okay, so you can give one example of a sentence. I can say, this food is soft as mush. Is it marshmallow? Mush, yes, marshmallow. This is soft as mush. Now there are some foods that aren't actually mush, but it's just something like mush. It's just so soft. Like marshmallow. Is it a marshmallow? Like this, right? Like. Okay, so you have 
for this part. So we have soft, we have smooth. How about our hard? Hard. Hard as a stone. Hard as a stone, okay. Uh, be well of this. Hard as a stone. There are two different meanings, okay? Which two? First meaning over here. It's just hard because stone to take it out, of course it is hard. Yes. But uh, have you heard that had the kind of monster that can cause cause you and then you become a stone? Well, but that is not what is it about. Hard as That's a stone. Some extra things. Okay, so you wanna say about those types of fairy tales? But actually we still believe in it. Okay, so let me just tell you, it's hard as a stone. When you describe someone's heart, it's as hard as a stone. That means the person cool. you can... Okay, maybe cruel, maybe just cold-blooded. Well, we're warm-blooded. But cold-blooded, for us in our heart, it only means that we just don't care about others. Okay? okay. Not necessarily cruel. Well, it's just cold-hearted, cold-blooded. No sympathy. Okay. okay. And it is not compassionate. Okay. Means that you don't help anyone. Even if it's in need. And even if there's a fire, even if there's fire, you don't help that person, you just run away. So you can see this, this guy is a cold hearted creature. Guy. Right? He's a cold hearted guy. So hard as a stone, not hard. So I'm going to give examples for these both, okay? Okay, so, so can there, give are, a read? there are some things that are very hard that you actually don't want it to be hard. For example, the sole of this shoe is hard as a stone, right? The soul of this shoe is hard as a stone. I hate it. The soul of this shoe is hard as a stone. So you feel very uncomfortable when walking, right? Yep. And it just goes... Thump, 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 thump. Like an elephant. I feel very uncomfortable. The soul, the soul of this shoe it's hard as a stone. I feel very uncomfortable. And when you go jogging, you want to bend your feet, right? Yep, and you want to run very fast, right? But, but then, then you, you suddenly cannot... realize the sole is so hard that you cannot even bend your feet. And, and then you become... over and fall. And become, um, instead of people who, you know, the bend feet like, like this, right? It become like this. Okay. So, shoe the sole, you have to be where it needs to be soft, okay? Yup, fast. Or Plus, flexible. Plus, if it is hard, then become down, 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 down. Okay, cold hearted. So, you describe a person. <coughs> he is he hard is. as a stone. Or he's hard. His heart, right? Yep. Because you usually use it to describe the heart. Okay? You can also add the extra S in front. It depends whether you like it or not. His heart? His heart is as hard as a stone. They are hard. But can also say they are hard. If you say their hearts, then it is for a group. Of them. Okay. You cannot find any sympathy. Or you cannot find sympathy in him. Well, you don't actually just open him up and then go and find the whatever sympathy, but it is actually from his actions whether he shows sympathy, show compassion or not. Yep. Just about those. But, but other than compassion, helping, can you say about respect? Respect. Respect doesn't actually mean that, okay? Okay. It is only showing respect that you respect. Those that are older than you respect your teachers. Yeah. Okay? It's just like not to be rude. 
Yep. So you also have to show compassion. Okay. Let me give another example. It's also hard. Hard as iron. What does hard as iron mean? Hard as iron. So iron, when it is not heated up, it is actually very hard, right? Unless you have a lot of strength, then you can try to bend it. Yep. Or even you cannot bend it, you must use the machine. Okay. So you need to heat it up, then you can shape it easily, right? Yep. If you don't heat it up, it will take a long, long time. Okay. So what does this actually mean? Hot. Hot. Okay. Okay, I can say, hey, this thing is hard as iron. Can you help me to break it? Okay, but why would you want to break it? Or you can ask to open it, maybe, right? Yeah. Break it unless like chocolate, you want to break it apart. Yep. But then the chocolate is frozen, then you don't have enough strength, they'll describe it as iron. Or uh, what I really wanted to say about food. This, food. this food is hard as iron. You want to break it apart. So basically they have all frozen up. Right? Yeah. Can you help me break it? Or open it? Or if it is like canned food, you can describe it with that. Like you just need to open it up. Okay, so for example, what do I mean? It can mean like you know those those things are other than chocolate, anything else that you can share. Yeah? Okay. So for please. example candies. Well it's a very long candy, for example liquid. But once liquid is frozen, since it's very long and you want to share it, it will be very hard to break it. <laughs> well, even if you try to just take it out, then use it like a knife that you hit it on the table. Wait. Before that, if you don't know what's liquid, liquid is actually a plant. And those liquid candies come from liquid roots. And then let me just tell, oh, if you got taste before, it's actually quite sweet. Okay, it depends. Although, whether what kind of taste you add inside. Yep, if you add those, a lot of kinds is sweet, but actually the truth is it's a bit bitter. Okay, so it tastes sweet. It might just because they added some flavorings inside. Yeah. They added a lot of other stuff inside, right, to make it to change its flavor. Yep, and usually the liquids are very very long, so. Oh, usually since liquid is very long, so when it's frozen, you want to share, you better break it. Okay, so you have already two hearts, right? Yep. How about I give another heart? What? Hard as nails. Hard as nails? It's our nails hard? Nails, iron nails, they are hard. You try to bend it, but then you just end up injuring yourself. Okay, so let me just tell that when you nail the you know those nails onto something, please don't act. Please do not nail. Please nail it carefully. If not, you go and nail your thumb and then become pain. Okay, hard as nails. First meaning, of course, it is hard, right? Yeah. Second meaning, you describe someone. As hard as nails. The person can just be ag aggressive. Aggressive. You can say some animals are aggressive. It just something like the panic button. Aggressive, well, will just trigger this aggressive triggered, person. Triggered. Then the person will just get very angry and just rage. And that's an aggressive person. So the more aggressive the person is, Better don't disturb it, or else you're gonna be in trouble. Okay. It's like, hey, when you disturb it, you hit its panic button. But let me just tell you, this aggressive meaning here, it is only that he gets angry very easily, okay? That's the meaning of aggressive for here. Yep. The next, hard, aggressive, 
Just another meaning. So when you say someone is hard as nails, it can be tough. The person is very tough. He will not give up despite of any danger or any difficulties. Yep. So when you say someone's tough, you can use hard as nails. Okay, first meaning for hard. So something that is actually very hard, very hard to bend, very hard to shape. Okay, for example, you can say, Okay, so before that, let us tell you, iron has two types of iron. One is the really the type of iron, the other is the uh, iron, which is also... Okay, for ironing iron. clothes, right? Uh, uh, you can call it a steamer. So, at this part, hard as nails. You describe something as hard as nails. Of course, nails are. Hammers are. Of course. Bottles. Is bottles. Bottles. Well, not, some of them are because some of them you cannot even press into it. But some of them you can just press into it easily. Right? Wood. Okay. Okay, Pastor, give an example. Okay. It's hard as nails, and then you can add on it. It will not break easily. Okay? Okay. Now you can use it for as hard as nails. Aggressive. So you can just like take it as a warning. Do not bother him. Do not disturb him. So let me just tell you that animals, because if you have noticed that, for example, hawks and pigs, hawks are more aggressive than pigs. And if you have really observed a lot of the animals, those wild animals are a lot more aggressive than the... Uh, domesticated? Dom yeah, domesticated animals. And thus, just how extra things, and thus it is less aggressive, so it's brain us smaller. Okay, so at this point, do not disturb him, he is as hard as snails. So when you disturb him, he just gets aggressive, then just might just start a fight or whatever. Okay. Right? Tough. So he will not give up easily, right? Yeah. Or to like exaggerate it. Nothing can stop him. Right? Yeah. Nothing. For example, you can say, okay, you can and call people dead devils if they purposely want to jump off from a very high building just to they just dare to do it. But then actually you don't call a cat a dead devil as the cat is actually when it falls from a higher place, it has a higher chance of surviving. Okay. The cat just has a parachute kind of body. And thus, after some times, the, there won't be any more acceleration and and thus, it, the higher it is, actually the higher chance it will survive. But still best keep the uh, cat on the floor. Nothing can stop him. Or you can add in front one word. Literally nothing can stop him. Okay. This is for like exaggerations, right? Yes. So now we'll end here. Next time we'll continue.